We have some new, rather startling data today coming from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Something impossible just occurred. An object from beyond our solar system, traveling at cosmic speeds throughout the void, suddenly changed course, not by crashing into something, not because of the sun's gravity. It accelerated on its own, and we have no idea why. What you're about to hear sounds like science fiction, but it's not. It's real, and it's happening right now, 269 million kilometers away. Let's get into it. Welcome back to Fraying Reality. Today, we need to talk about 3I Atlas, the third interstellar object ever discovered visiting our solar system. On October 29, 2025, scientists using the Atacama Large Millimeter Array detected something that shouldn't be possible. 3I Atlas was four arc seconds away from where it was supposed to be. That may not sound like much, but at cosmic scales, that's massive. This object defied gravity, and the implications are quite unsettling. Let's break down what's happening, what it means, and why some of the world's top astrophysicists are using words like technological signature. First, let's establish what we're dealing with. 3I Atlas is an interstellar object, meaning it came from outside of our solar system. It's only the third one we've ever detected, after the famous Oumuamua in 2017 and 2I Borisov in 2019. It was discovered in July 1st of this year and has been making its way through our cosmic neighborhood ever since. On October 29th, 2025, it reached perihelion, its closest approach to the sun, at a distance of 1.36 astronomical units. That's about 203 million kilometers, roughly where Mars orbits. Here's where things get weird. David Fernaccio, a navigation engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, filed a report that stopped the scientific community in its tracks. Using data from ALMA, they found that 3I Atlas was not where it was supposed to be. When you track objects in space, gravity tells you exactly where they should be at any given time. It's predictable. It's reliable. But 3I Atlas, it was off. Way off. The measurements showed two components of non-gravitational acceleration. A radial acceleration away from the sun of 135 kilometers per day squared. A transverse acceleration of 60 kilometers per day squared. Something was pushing this object. Something was making it accelerate without any gravitational assist. Why does this matter? And why is this important? In space, objects don't just change course. Not without a reason. Comets can do this throughout gassing, when ice evaporates and creates a rocket effect. But the level of acceleration detected here, it would require something extraordinary. And that's where this mystery deepens. When scientists first saw this data, they immediately did the math. And the math is problematic. Dr. Avi Loeb, a Harvard astrophysicist who has been studying 3I Atlas extensively, calculated what it would take for cometary outgassing to produce this level of acceleration. Using momentum conservation, the equation is straightforward. The result? 3I Atlas would need to lose at least one-sixth of its total mass during its perihelion passage. Let me put that in perspective. Based on earlier observations by the James Webb Telescope, scientists estimated 3I Atlas has a mass of at least 33 billion tons. One sixth of that is over 5.5 billion tons of material that should be ejected as gas. That's not subtle. 
That's not a light dusting. That is a massive cloud of gas that should be easily visible. If cometary outgas is responsible, we should detect an enormous plume of gas surrounding 3I Atlas throughout November and December of 2025. And the scientific community isn't taking any chances. Multiple observation campaigns are already underway. ESA's JUICE spacecraft was positioned to detect this massive gas cloud in early November. Then, from November 27th through January 27th, 2026, the International Asteroid Warning Network launched a coordinated global campaign. But the real moment of truth comes on December 19th, when 3I Atlas passes closest to Earth at just 269 million kilometers. At that distance, hundreds of ground-based telescopes will be trained on the object. Hubble will be watching, Webb will be watching, every major observatory on the planet will have their eyes fixed on this object. If we see that massive gas cloud, mystery solved, it's a very active comet. But if we don't see it, This isn't the first time we've been here. Remember Oumuamua, that first interstellar visitor back in 2017? It also showed non-gravitational acceleration. And guess what? Despite deep observations with the Spicer telescope and other instruments, no gas or dust was detected around it. Scientists called it a dark comet, a comet without a visible tail. Now here's the thing. A tail is the defining feature of a comet. Calling something a dark comet is like calling a bird that can't fly a flightless bird. Technically, you can say it, but it's describing something that violates the fundamental definition. As Lowe points out, this would be like a cave dweller finding a cell phone and classifying it as a rare rock. If we don't detect a massive gas cloud around 3I Atlas in the coming weeks, we're left with a disturbing alternative explanation. This could be a technological signature, a propulsion system, an engine. Think about it. The non-gravitational acceleration has two components, radial and transverse. That's not random. That's directional. That's controlled. And there's another anomaly that supports this. 3I Atlas has been observed getting bluer than the sun. For a natural comet, this makes no sense. Dust should redden scattered sunlight. The surface temperature of 3I Atlas should be about 20 times colder than the sun which would make it redder, not bluer. But a hot engine, a source of artificial light, that could explain a blue signature. The blue color is actually the ninth anomaly associated with 3I Atlas. That's right, nine unexplained behaviors that don't fit the comet model. This isn't one weird data point. It's a pattern of unusual behavior that defies natural explanation. So the question is, when do we stop calling this a comet? Could there be natural explanations we haven't thought of? Absolutely. Science is about exploring all possibilities. But as I talked about in a recent video, we can't dismiss the data just because it makes us uncomfortable. As Loeb said during a recent luncheon at Harvard's Institute for Theory and Computation, it's a bad professional practice for theoretical astrophysicists to conclude that the data must be wrong just because they do not have a theoretical explanation for it. So, where does this leave us? Right now, we're in a waiting period. The observations from November and December will be critical. If we see this massive gas cloud, then we can breathe easy. 
It's just a very active interstellar comet doing comet things. But if we don't, if 3i Atlas continues to show non-gravitational acceleration without any visible outgassing, then we need to seriously consider the possibility that we're witnessing something unprecedented, something technological, something that originated from outside our solar system and is capable of controlled propulsion. I want to be clear. I'm not saying it's aliens. I'm saying the data is pointing to something we don't understand, and we need to follow that data wherever it leads. The next few weeks could change everything we think we know about our place in the cosmos. But that's just what I think. What matters is what you think. Natural phenomenon or something more? Let me know in the comments. We know you have choices and we know your time is limited, so we appreciate you hanging out with us. If you like what you see, please remember to like and subscribe. It's free to you and it means the world to us and we greatly appreciate you. And please check out our sister channel, Fraying Reality, The Hidden Files, where we explore deeper cases and the history behind them. I'll link it all below. I'll also link Avi Loeb's Medium page below so you can see what the man himself has to say. And as always, keep an open mind, but not so open your brains fall out. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.